Yo, what's up everyone, Sir Toby here, back with another video, and today I want to talk about how I got my mage blood within the first five days of this uh, current league, um, 321. Now, uh, first I'm going to talk a little bit about my uh, build, how it progressed, uh, then go into what I was forming the last few days and how I got started, and then uh, maybe go a little bit over some of the investments and uh, things outside of mapping that I did to uh, acquire some of my money. Uh, as you can see, I already also have some spare money um, left over. I think I also have still a bottle of skiff that I have to turn in. Let's do that real quick. Um, so yeah, I'm doing quite well for myself this league um, and I've had a lot of fun. Uh, it's currently uh, 2039. Uh, I was done with my mage blood by 4 p.m., so pretty much well within uh, day five uh, that I got my mage blood. Uh, I think that's the fastest that I've ever gotten mage blood too, which is really nice, uh, and I'm really happy about that. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the progression of my uh, character. Uh, so this was my character on day two, um, which is pretty much when I had it actually kind of set up. Um, actually, I. It's pretty much the same gear as day one, um, but day one was just me, you know, progressing the atlas, getting some levels, I ended up at level 83, and then on day two, I uh, was pretty much done um, running the atlas and stuff like that, and started farming legions. Now, um, I will leave the link to this profile in the, the uh, to this Pure Ninja page in the description, so if you want to check out what I did there, um, feel free to do that. Um, I ended up following pretty much exactly, well, pretty close, um, pretty closely Grimrose uh, artillery, artillery ballista plans. Um, there are some slight changes in here. Um, this build is still kind of scuffed. Um, I'm not sure if you really would want to copy it. If you know, if it, and it's probably better to um, copy from someone else because um, in the end, there's some stuff that will have, will have to change eventually. Uh, that I'm not quite happy with still. Uh, what was really nice was this bow that I ended up crafting. I uh, just sniped it with the prefixes already on there. Uh, and then just uh, was lucky enough to get the bow attacks for additional arrow with an exalt slam. Um, same with the uh, Vengeance Cascade. Uh, or not the same with the Vengeance Cascade, but I want to also emphasize how good Vengeance Cascade is, especially for Legions, because you get a ton of um, you know blowback, so to speak. Uh, from the or coverage from the returning projectiles that also shoot behind you, um, which is really really good, um, especially if you also have uh, pierce and uh, chain, uh, which clears out the packs quite well, especially in legions. I also want to emphasize how good inspired learning is. Um, inspired learning really helped me to uh, get this, you know, my speed up when forming legions and really stopped me from dying all that much because I've died quite a lot. Um, slash deaths 794. It's pretty uh, insane amount of deaths. All right, so that is that. So uh, let's maybe talk a little bit about the strategy that I used. First, the Atlas tree. As you can probably see, my Atlas tree is entirely, um, you know, red altars. Um, Strong boxes and Legion. So I'm pretty much not doing anything else. Um, Elishar has a tree that also incorporates Expedition and Harbingers instead of Strong boxes. Um, that also looked pretty good if you're interested in that. I would check that out. But I've done really well with this. Uh, what I really want to recommend is the Sulfide. Um, the Sulfide notes. Um, this increased damage and movement speed for each of a vein that you found in your maps really helped me early on um, and allowed me to farm legions from day two onwards um, and really you know got me to a point where I didn't die all the time and I didn't um, just yeah fail maps basically um, so there is that uh, I really like the strongbox notes up here as well. Uh, I got several cool things from these, so I think I've duplicated like three uh, three divine orbs. Uh, just from this note, for example, I've uh, duplicated a couple really decent cards, like 60, 70 chaos cards from Vault of Mysteries. Um, so that was also quite nice. Um, and then the maps, just better map sustain, I guess. 
Um, so that's it for the tree. It's a fairly simple tree. Um, if you don't have the points, I would cut out something like shrines here. I would cut out something like, um, you know, maybe maybe the sulfide nodes or something. Um, and that way you don't uh, need as many points. Um, or some of these, these nodes here, this node here, something like that. Uh, because I have 115 Atlas completion. Um, and in total I have 125 out of 132. I haven't really done any invitations um, so far. I haven't even done this invitation. Alright, so what did I actually uh, end up doing? So, uh, day two I was just doing uh, dunes. Where are my dunes? Here are still the dunes I have left. So, tier 16 dunes, polished legion scarab, and just, you know, ran like over, over 180 or something dunes uh, with the legion and, um, you know, dunes on it. Uh, and yet, dunes with legion, legion on Jesus Christ. Um, until I had, you know, decent currency, I was able to acquire this bow, um, etc, etc. And then uh, once I had a stock of currency, I decided that I was done with dunes at that point. Imperial Legacy cards also went from uh, two chaos per card down to, you know, half a chaos at least or something like that where they're at now. And uh, Cemetery just has a lot better diff cards. Um, I ended up running over a hundred uh, cemetery cards and in cemetery cards I also started using uh, scarabs and sextons. So which sextons did I end up using? I ended up using uh, strongbox monsters are enraged and uh, your maps contain additional strongboxes. I can only recommend the enraged strongbox uh, sexton, I love it. Um, although it currently is also getting up there in price where you know it's like 60, 70 chaos now. It's kind of getting to a to a range where it starts to hurt to buy these. Um, the other two sections you can fill out with whatever you uh, you like. Um, currently it's basically the same price to just run, run a new map and put Legion on or put the Legion section on as long as you're not if you're not running the duplication one you don't need the Legion section. If you want to run uh, Legion I would run both Legion sections. Um, I am doing stuff like uh, ref just you know reflect damage so I don't have to care about reflect, uh, hunted traitors, um, what other things you can do? Uh, other things you can do are Nico, uh, you know, something like Gloom Shrine, um, or even something like maps in your uh, maps found in your maps are corrupted with eight modifiers, and that would give you maps like these, um, which are infinitely harder than you know normal maps, so to speak, like this, um, but also obviously drop more loot. Um, these maps are still kind of challenging with this character state. Um, and I die sometimes, um, but they're also really fun because there's just so much that you can uh, kill in these maps. So there is that. All right. Um, that's about it for maps. Um, before I end the video, I'm going to just quickly run one of these so you can maybe see what I'm doing there. Uh, but that's uh, about that. The uh, sec scarabs I'm using are either Nico or uh, Elder Scarab. Uh, depending on whether you have, you know, Master Mission or you can either use Master Mission, uh, Scarab or Sexton to get Nico. Um, currently I'm just throwing in Elder Scarabs and we're running Polished Legion, Polished Divination, Polished Ambush Scarabs and obviously Ambush on the map device because we have the extra strong boxes there. So that was about what I did for, you know, mapping. I just run maps basically. Um, so how many kills did it take? So I killed about 700,000 monsters um, and that was enough to get my mage blood um, this way. Um, about the drop rate of Brother's Gift, I can't really say too much about it. I got two Brother's Gifts, four Brother's Stashes in total um, in about 110-ish maps with uh, you know, the uh, strong box sextons on. Um, make of that what you will. Um, I assume I've been unlucky on the Brothers Gifts um, if they did not buff the Brothers Stash drop rate. Um, so there is that. So some other things that I did to make some uh, incidental currency is um, Corrupt and Six Link Lightning Coils and Dendro Baits. So you would six socket, uh, you know, just using tainted currency basically, you six socket these, four link these, uh, corrupt them either in the double corruption temple or in the uh, or just with the, with the Val Orb. This one I just did with a Val Orb. 
um, but I also tried double corrupting it. Double corrupting is a bit more risky, so to speak, because you're going to, um, you know, be spending a little bit more on the base, and the base can brick. But um, with that, um, you know, with these tailor currencies, then you would uh, try to six link this. Um, if it goes back to a three link, you go to the um, the crafting bench and use the four link here. Here to uh, turn back into a four link, try again with tainted. If it goes to five, you slam again, and so on. Um, so I think it's like a one in four ish to uh, you know get a six link like that. Uh, there's probably other chests that you can also try and six link like this. Um, I just did lightning coils and dendro base because those were the two most used unique chests um, on Pure Ninja um, and in the game in general. Um, probably made like 10 15 divines of that, which is really nice. Um, another thing that you can do is, uh, for example, um, crafting stitch vices. This is still overpriced, and just uh, but if you put on intelligence on your stitch vice with essences, um, people might search for them because they don't know that it's an essence only modifier to have intelligence, and so a lot less of these are in the market with intelligence than they would be um, with, say, strength. Um, so you can overprice these a little bit. Um, and that's also how I made some money, but not too much money. I completely ignored the leak mechanic um, and really didn't do anything there. I um, think that's about what I did mostly to make currency. Um, I just straight up killed monsters and got loot uh, this leak. Alright, so let's just run one of these so you can maybe see how uh, a map like this looks, or what a map like this looks like. And then, usually I would just run these and then loot later. Um, chaos. There's some decisions here where you can either take um, whatever, uh, whatever it gives you, and um, in other cases, uh, where you get, you know, the, the, the altar mode where you get just straight up raw currency oh, or um, you just take quantity as well um, if it's possible and if you don't lose anything else um, that's totally up to you so to speak in here and then you just want to trigger these um, yeah. on your legions etc etc Be careful with these strong boxes, they can have either an ice nova or detonate nearby corpses. This one had nearby corpses. I have no clue where this last mob is hiding. Um, you know, if those uh, hit you, you're likely dead, at least on my character. Um, obviously, you also want to be able to clear out the entire legion pretty much instantly, otherwise, you uh, don't get all the loot. I think that's pretty self explanatory. My loot filter is currently on uber strict uh, for reference, so um, if you don't put it on uber strict, the amount of loot you get is absolutely stupid. Um, and you just have to pour out way too much, and there's stuff like, you know, chrome, uh, stuff like blacksmiths and armorsmiths that just clog up your uh, single splinters, stuff like that. That just totally ruins the uh, experience, in my opinion. So I just ended up uh, completely blocking everything here. Uh, for incubators, I have most incubators blocked other than Geomancers, uh, Currency, Divination Card, um, Essence, I think, and Scarabs. Whoops, I died there. Um, oops, uh, oops, almost died again. That's why you also don't want to use um, Gilded Scarabs, because these bosses can be super annoying. And in my opinion... Oh God, my... <laughs> Jesus. Um, and in my opinion, it's just not worth the hassle to uh, have to deal with these bosses um, for the little they give. Even the um, Marikath boss basically drops you like 1.5C. Yeah, it's like 
yeah, one and a half chaos or something. Um, so in my opinion, it's just not worth it. That's also that's why I'm using uh, the gilded, uh, not gilded, but polished scarab, and that's also why I have inspected the generals on the passive tree. Um, just for your info, there. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. You're almost done with this map. Um, yeah, so in this case, for example, I'm choosing the quantity because there's still some strong boxes left. And instilling orbs didn't sound too appealing. Um, I never take the chaos damage per second, for example. That's just horrible. Um, nice. Three clicks. Four clicks? Four clicks. Nice. Um... Yeah, and that's about what you do in the map, and then you just have to loot. Um, so yeah, that's how I got my match blood. That's how I'm currently making my money. Um, I hope you learned something, and I see you in the future. Bye.